Hey guys, it has been so long since I have filmed a video. April Empties was the last one. I've just been busy. Um, the last month of, I mean, May was the last month of school. My daughter got out of school um, the very end of May. We had my stepson. We went out of town. We went to my mom's. It's just been busy. So, I really hope, I, I intend to film a video another video this week like a favorites video because there's a lot of stuff I've been wanting to share with you I don't know if I'll do a get ready with me those are probably going to be my next two videos there's just been a lot of things I've wanted to share I've just been busy anyway so this is going to be a massive empties it's going to be a May and June product empties so if you've missed me you'll enjoy this if you haven't missed me, then this may be too long for you. So, I hope I can get done with it. I already am charging my second camera battery. Let's hope I don't run out of memory. I may have to stop and get some water. Okay. Usually, I try to do like full size and then samples and wax. I don't know. I may just have to dive in today. Okay. I have been using up, as far as body sunscreen goes, I don't really save them all to show you unless it's something like really hyped about really fantastic really bad whatever this is the copper tone sport 100 this was terrible terrible i put like whenever i open it sunscreen is it had an expiration date or whatever usually like if i get a sunscreen in a summer i'll use it that year and then through the next one and then i get rid of it so we wrote on a sharpie and taped it to the bottom but anyways this after I showered, I would still feel it on my skin. And it was like a sticky residue. Like you could rub your leg and you could feel it. It would be tacky. I hated it. Um, I mean, it worked good. But anyways, we've gone through countless other different sprays at the pool. But I'll just throw them away while we're there. So I'm using sunscreen on the body. But okay, the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is the most no-frills solid facial cleansing balm if you don't know how to use a cleansing balm just get a little bit of mount rub it between your hands really emulsify it and take it onto a dry face full of makeup rub it massage it it just breaks down everything so well i have never enjoyed my cellar cleaning cleansing waters but i couldn't really pinpoint why until i was watching a video the other day and i think it was coffee break with danny she was saying she felt like the micellar waters she just tugged at her skin and I was like that's exactly what it is I don't like about it it's kind of like the cleansing wipes I feel like you're having to really do a lot to get the makeup off where the oils or the balms I feel like they just do all the work for you so that's why I like a balm I've gone through countless of these and it's great it's fragrant tree however I feel like lately it like it would be like little chunks left that I couldn't emulsify where sometimes you know as soon as you put one in your hand it turns to liquid oil so i don't know i might not purchase that for a while okay the the crave beauty matcha hemp hydrating cleanser i really like this it is the most non-irritating basic gentle but enjoyable cleanser i've used it has it's an antioxidant cleanser it's matcha hemp seeds oats almonds vitamin b5 and sodium pca i'm not sure what that is this rates really well on the ph level i can't tell you exactly what it is right now ph 5.0 to 6.0 it doesn't really suds up which you know everybody likes certain things i find the really heavy sudsing cleansers can irritate my rosacea i really like it i will repurchase it again it smells kind of green tea-ish it's jelly looking but it's lovely and i'll use this as like you know a first cleanse and a second cleanse okay this uh, it's actually not 100 percent empty but i can't use it it's the igk direct flight multitasking dry shampoo the medium cleanse level i hated this <laughs> and i know one of my good friends on here megan she thinks it's amazing and I can't like I feel like not much comes out 
but I know it's coming out because I'll see the white but it leaves the most gross feeling texture in my hair even the batiste doesn't make me feel like that in my hair so I don't know um I didn't like it I mean it's pretty much empty but there might be one use worth Maybelline the falsies waterproof I always use a waterproof coat before my regular coat to hold the curl my lashes are just like droopy this is what the wand looks like I really enjoyed it I'll definitely pick it up again <laughs> my favorite toothpaste I just decided to share this because it's been a while since I shared it it's a Sensodyne Pro Namel gentle whitening if you have sensitive teeth this is the best the best stuff my teeth are so sensitive they will just ache if I don't use this when I'm using this my teeth are great so the Clinique Moisture Surge 70 hour 72 hour hydrating gel I love this I've been using this there was another thing I was going to share no I don't know um, I've been using Moisture Surge off and on since like 2002 I say this every time I show you one I just want to reiterate how long I've been using it it's a perfect daytime moisturizer I can also use it at night I do think the drunk elephant proteiny one it's like a step up from it but I definitely would use them both soft soap milk and honey hand soap this is like my tried and true I always come back to this hand soap it smells amazing it's gentle it's soft I have that almost all times in my house not your mother's clean freak dry shampoo it's okay if you need a travel size one or a cheap one or whatever it's nice but I won't be reaching like I won't be looking for it okay this brand there was um that Instagram things I bought and liked I think is what it is if you follow it then you know what I'm talking about she's hilarious she talked about this company the willow hill soap company and i picked up a few scrubs based on her review and then another person i follow picks them up because of her and both of those people have pretty good taste and then a real life friend of mine picked up some of these because of that but it's the whipped sugar scrub and this scrub let me just say i have a jordan samuels body scrub in my shower and a josie Marin body scrub in my shower and I put this in and I finished this off without even touching the other ones. That says a lot. The texture of this is unlike any other scrub I've ever used. It's like a cool whip, but with the granules in it. But it's so good. They're fine, but not to where it's like non-existent. Because I do like a gritty scrub, so it's gritty. The only downside is their website doesn't give scent descriptions. I got the Fireside Vanilla. But it was like Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath the Body Works. Amazing. But you can message them on Instagram and ask for a scent description because I did do that with one scent I ordered. I have two more scrubs and they're amazing. Willow Hill Soap Company. Check them out if you're into body scrubs. Okay. <laughs> this is the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I got it in medium brown. It's very reminiscent of the Anastasia. Very micro tip with a spoolie on the end there was some deal one day Ulta was like a if you bought an Ulta product you could use a code for five off of a ten dollars but this they like marked down to five so this came off it was really a weird deal to where you could get an Ulta product that was five dollars on completely free anyway so that's how I got it I don't know that I would pay ten dollars because I feel like I really flew through it but it was nice if you could get it on set. Okay, this is my husband's cologne. He's been using this since he was in high school. It's Curve for Men. It's the only scent he wears. It's what I equate with him smelling. I think it's been discontinued because it's getting really hard to find. And I got a set at Sam's recently for him, like a gift set of the two. So I really hope they don't discontinue it. He will be very sad. Okay, the Mrs. Myers clean day hand lotion in the basil scent I kept this at her kitchen sink the lotion was fine just very thin not really anything to write home about but the scent method makes a basil scent that smells like a basil plant it smells amazing the Mrs. Myers no 
the Dial Miracle Oil Hand Soap. This is like the Marula Oil Body Wash that I love. And I know some of you have picked up. It smells just like it. It's amazing. It's not as moisturizing as the body wash, but it's still really nice. I have something I'm going to share in a minute. Okay, this Lalia or Lolia brand. I know they sell it at Anthropology. This is the Wish Sugared Pastel Shower Gel. This smells amazing. I can't tell you the scent description. It's very like a candied um, flower, something like that, like violets. It smells really nice. Enjoy it. The Batiste. This is my favorite dry shampoo. The Dry Shampoo Plus. It's the Hint of Color Divine Dark. I can use this in my hair. I don't even have to rub it in and it doesn't stand out like white or colored. If I use another one, I'll do it the night before, but it still sometimes shows up white because my hair is pretty dark. This is the color. It's amazing. I would like to probably try some other brands of dark, but then I'm like, why? The Batiste works well. I have another one of this size right now and, you know, works great. Something that I did not like. Where is that? Okay. The Moroccan Oil Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. Okay. I need to speed through this. I love the Moroccan Oil. Oil, the regular. I've used it. Loved it. I have the hairspray. It will last me probably my whole life. I don't use hairspray. So I tried this. Okay. The Alternate Caviar Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner is probably my hands down favorite shampoo and conditioner. I like the Redken All Soft, which is a really heavy shampoo and conditioner. I am no stranger to moisturizing products. This, okay, I could go, my hair is so balanced. It's not overly dry, but it's just balanced. I could go over five days without my hair being oily. That's just my hair texture. That's just the way it is, whatever. This, if I use it the next day, I would look like a grease ball. It was horrible. I went through the whole thing hoping maybe my hair like would adjust to it. Mm -mm. I finished it off because it is not inexpensive. I know other people talk about the shampoo line being great. I don't know. I don't know if I would ever try any more of it again because I had such a bad experience. So if you used a different line from them, let me know. I'll think about it. But if you want a nice line, the Alterna Caviar Moisture one is, it's it's good. It doesn't make, I can use it for five days. My hair's not dry. It's not oily. Anyways, the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love these. They're just like a treat. Do they give, take away every fine line? No. Do they do anything magical? I mean, I think they give my under eyes a nice look and I, I baby my under eyes. And so I think my under eyes look pretty good. I'm 35. Um, so I enjoy using them and I'll continue. Okay. Oh, I th threw this in also in case, you know, my husband, he wanted to start using natural deodorants and he's not really picky. He doesn't have a baking soda sensitivity. So he just uses the Arm & Hammer um, Essentials deodorant from the regular drugstore supermarket. He uses it all the time. He can use it consecutively. He doesn't have to switch it up. He doesn't smell. He really enjoys it. So if you want to give one a try or do you have a husband or something, that's a good thing to do. Okay, the Angelou Naturals 1000 Roses Rose Water Mask. This smelled so good. It smelled like a marshmallow cloud of roses. And I don't even really like a rose scent. I would use this as a second mask. Sometimes I'll do like a multi-masking. On Sunday, I'll do like a more, I don't want to say harsh mask, but you know, more clarifying, resurfacing, whatever. And then follow it up with something like this to kind of give me some more moisture, soothe it, not get irritated. And I really enjoyed it. Okay, another product of my husband's, the Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. He loves this. He absolutely loves this. So if I can get a mini for him, I do. He likes that Origins Checks and Balances. Any of the really frothy ones he loves. This is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. 
I love this. It's expensive. A friend of mine, she used the term to describe the texture as like mashed potatoes. That's pretty spot on. I liked to use this not at the end of the day, but like at the beginning before makeup. And I don't know. It says um, soothes, smooths, and immediately softens. I feel like it just kind of boosted up my skin. Just gave it a little more plump and moisture and glow. Okay, the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. This was such an odd product. Like it would come out as like an oil and you were putting it on and thinking this is going to be too much. But it like turned into a serum. I thought it was nice, but I do know it has some essential oils in it. So if that's something you're concerned about. I don't know. I might would purchase the full size of that one day. I'm not sure. The Glam Glow Thirsty Cleanse face wash. What is that telling me? I don't know. We're just going to keep going and hope that I don't get cut off. This I liked okay. I think it's been discontinued, but I'm not going to... I mean, I did enjoy it fine, but this is more affordable. I feel like better ingredients and everything, and I liked it probably more. Okay, two products for the kids. This is the Yardley Mango and Lily Bath and Shower Gel. It's just okay. And then this I had left at my mom, so it's taken a while for them to use it up. It's a Suave Kids Coconut 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I would never use this without a conditioner. It was okay. This I also used on them. The Pantene in, Pantene in the Shower Foam Conditioner. I got this for free from like an influencer. It was like a shave gel um, texture. Ugh. We used it up and that was about it. I would not purchase that. Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Perfume. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite springtime scents. It's definitely in my top perfumes of all time. Um, I will definitely pick it up next spring. But I don't really need it right now. Native Deodorant. I got this in the Blackberry and Green Tea scent. I have to use the Sensitive. I'm sensitive to baking soda. I like the Native Deodorant. Um kind of will like ball up under my arms so I have to really like rub it in so it kind of defeats the stick one of you told me maybe I was using too much so I've tried to use a little less and it's helped a little bit the body shop almond milk and honey body butter it's okay I, I don't know if I'll buy it again the Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud hydrogel eye patches I do love these. However, because they're not individually wrapped, you can't like hold on to this and use them on special occasions. If you buy this, you have to go all in, use them. I don't mean like every day, but you know, like I was trying to savor them because they're so nice. Can't do that. Gosh, I don't know if I'm going to get through this before my camera decides to quit doing whatever it's doing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. I loved this. Loved it so much. Show you the wand. It's one of those just really basic generic wands that I like so much. I used it in a get ready with me like the Sephora VIB one I think. So nice. Okay Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush, ugh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 1. <laughs> so small tiny I use this up and it's a really nice pressed powder when I was using it I was like this is so good it just kind of blurs your pores I hope that's a battery I don't know what that's saying it I liked it until I tried the Fenty loose powder blows this out of the water as far as airbrushed that's what I'm wearing today it's the only pressed powder like just press it's the only just powder I have not like a foundation powder or something I love it Oh, what is on me? Ugh. Okay, St. Tropez Gradual Tan Watermelon Infusion. This was nice. I was really doing self-tan a lot. I haven't done it um, in like two weeks. I like this a lot. I don't know that it's enough on its own. I mean, you'd have to use it every day. And I don't really want to do the whole sunless tan bit every day. It was nice. It did have a smell, though. Glow Recipe Watermelon pink juice moisturizer. I've used the full size of this. I really like it. 
It's very similar to the Clinique Moisture Surge if you are into these textures. Nice. Drunk Elephant Lalo Retro Whipped Cream. I love this for nighttime. I can use it for daytime as well. It's very like shea butter based, which to me is just, I love how it feels on the skin. It's a great moisturizer. Jeez Louise. Hey guys, sorry about that. I'm back. Four hours later to finish my empties video. So I went ahead and put what we talked about in this bag just in case because I wasn't sure if I would um, be able to still have everything I'd recorded or if something would go bad. Do you ever feel like if you didn't have bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck at all? So a week ago, I think our AC unit died. Well, not a hundred percent but so many parts needed to be done it ended up we got a whole new unit our unit was only 10 years old so i don't feel like it should have gone out but whatever it did the day after that my husband his car battery was completely dead had to go buy a new car battery then he had a short in his car he fixed some fuse it went out again last night <laughs> And then when I was recording this, it said my memory card was full, which is weird because I had only recorded for 20 minutes and I used to record video after video. So I'm not sure about that. Then, so I was like, okay, I'll just go put the video clip on my computer and then come back. Computer was completely dead. I've been working on it, that this whole time. My poor kids, I promised them we were going to go swim when I got done filming. I'm doing that. Finally got around to... I guess I had diagnosed some problem and fixed it. So I got it on there, but I had to start laundry <laughs> in the middle of that. So we have laundry piles. So let's just get back going. The product I was talking about when I got cut off was the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I don't know. I wasn't really impressed with it. I won't purchase it. The Sun Balm 3-in-1 Leave-In Hair Detangler Spray. I got this a few months back. Target was doing a deal where they were doing some bomb like 40% off that day. I wish I could go back in time and get more. Some of the spray sunscreen I've since picked up and this. I loved it. I find it, it's kind of like a candy banana smell, but it also has like a Hawaiian tropic scent. I love it. It worked great on the girl's hair. Um really nice but it's only a four ounce bottle and I think it's retails for like $14 and since I use it on two little girls hair it's just a little pricey for that size what I, another product I do love for hair this is the living proof restore perfecting spray I have the full size of this and it's a really nice leave-in spray on my hair on their hair anybody's hair it's really really nice the Lano Lips 101 ointment, and this is the Cocoa Nutter scent. Okay, the Lano, Lin, the Lano Lips brand, unless you want something for the scent or the smell, just buy regular Lano Lin, which is Nipple Cream, Lansino, Medela, any of those brands. But I got this sample, and it smells amazing. It's like a cocoa butter, coconut type scent it was a really nice lip balm very thick think vaseline thick but it's lanolin so it's not petroleum based but like i said unless you want a specific flavor then just you know get the other one clinique take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips i use this on my eyes it works nicely but if i'm using a makeup remover oil or balm that emulsifies i don't feel like i need a separate one usually because those tend to take off the makeup really nicely. Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. I don't know if this is my last mini or if I have one more. This is an amazing deep resurfacing mask. It's just this jelly texture. I love um, Tata Harper products. I, I think they're really nice. They are definitely expensive though. I like this more than the Drunk Elephant baby facial that one's just a little harsh on the skin where this one is a little less harsh but still i feel like very effective that 
Angelou um, Naturals Roses mask I talked about earlier in the video. I would use this like after this mask on Sunday evenings and I really liked it. Okay. I think we're down to like the samples and all that stuff. Almost, almost. Not quite. Okay, the Beauty 360 Ultra Premium Cotton Squares from CVS. You get 150 in these. Like I said the last time, unless you are just like, and I don't mean it in a rude way, but unless you were just like super, super, super nitpicky, really, really, really nitpicky, I don't think you'll find a difference in these. I say that meaning if you are that picky, you might say you can see a difference, but if you are just like, I like these nice cotton squares, then these will be as good to you. You can get two packs of these when they're on sale for roughly like $5. So they're much better buy than the Shiseido. They'll do like buy one get one half off or buy two get one free or something like that. They're really nice. I don't use it for nail polish removal. Use my felt square tip. If you don't know that just ask me and I'll tell you. So I just use it if I take off eye makeup or toner or something like that. Okay the tinkle razor I think that's what this is. I just use this. I don't really shave my face occasionally I might because you know like sometimes in the summer well anytime like the sun might hit and if you have some peach fuzz I mean I just don't really like that on me that's a personal preference or you can see like powder in it um but I don't feel like I need to do that very often or if I have like a little some little hairs on my toes or whatever I like these for I don't really go through there but um I'll do it on my husband or whatever. So I, I do like to have this. Okay. If you've been around here for a while. The hair dye conditioners. These are not from my hair dye. My mother-in-law. She has much shorter hair. And she does her hair. Hold on. Yes, Q. Quinlan. Quinlan. Come in. Come in. Okay. She, um... Are you coming? Hey, come in, please. Or not. I don't know. Okay. Where was I? Oh, yeah. And she doesn't finish up one of the conditioners before she re dyes her hair. So she'll give me like 20 of them at a time. And once upon a time, I was working through them and I finished them. She gave me another batch. I don't even know how many I have, but I'll use these on my daughter's hair. Or if I finish a shampoo before I finish the matching conditioner instead of pulling out a new full size shampoo because I like to get my sets together if possible then I'll use these. So we've gone through four. Hey, who is at the door? Who is at the door? Come in. Come in. I'm filming a video. Can you come in? Come here. Vera, is it you? It is you. I don't know if she'll make an appearance or not. Okay, now let's get on to sample products and wax. Another tinkle razor. Not that I feel like you'll need to see my tinkle razors, but I feel like I like to tell you about them. Hey, come here. Do you want to come here? Or do you want to go in Q's room with her? Do you want to come say hey? Come here. She just woke up from her nap. Oh. Can you say hey to the camera? <laughs> oh, sweet girl. Okay, go in Q's room, okay? And as, okay, well, let me do this, and then as soon as I'm done, we'll go outside and swim, okay? You can sit with me, but you gotta be quiet in here, okay? Can you put a tiny makeup on me? I don't have any makeup, it's all empty. Here, you can try this. Okay. What is it? Lip balm. But you gotta be quiet in here, okay? Can I open it? Yes. Put it on me? Yes. Okay, I saw Dr. Dre post about this on Instagram, I think. It's the Aveeno Repairing Sika Sika Foot Mask with Prebiotic Oat and Shea Butter. So good. It's as good as the Sephora ones. And it's like $2.30 or something like that. Pick one up the next time you're at the store and you see one. 
Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This was a sample from Sephora. Oh, and it's just not coming out. It's not? Okay, as soon as I'm done, I'll help you, okay? Okay. But you gotta let me do this. And it was a brand new jar the lady just set out. So I was like, can you make me a sample since it hadn't been, you know, touched? And it was nice. But for a really moisturizing cream, I think the Drunk Elephant La La Retro is, is, is better. Okay, the Volition Apple Cider Vinegar Resurfacing Peel Pads can't tell you much about it because it was a single use but I really liked it was one where you put like it said to put two fingers in so it was a pad it definitely tingled so if you're looking for something to use a little you know like the first day beauty pill pads or something like that I think it's worth checking out I think this brand is I, I'm not gonna say they're natural but I think they're like on the clean side of Sephora this was the fresh sugar rush no, Fresh Sugar Mint Rush Lip Balm. I just got like a little sample size. I did not like that. I do like the fresh lip balms that are in the pot. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. I got this little thing and so I used I think 120. Guys, I used 120 and 190 next. That's what I did. Um, It was very shape tape-esque so it was not my favorite this is a sicily regenerating hair care mask i have no opinion on that this i use this morning it's the ysl touche eclat high cover concealer i used the shade 0.75 sugar you don't see anything i did not like it like my makeup's been on for a while now and i do have some highlighter on but like i just I didn't like it. It didn't look good. And I like the regular Touche Clap pen. Ooh, the color science. I tore it off. Sun Forgettable Sunscreen. SPF 50. I loved this. It's a little tear packet. So I knew once I opened it, it was kind of like one and done. So I put it on my face, my husband's face, the two girls' face. I might have put it on my stepson's face too. I don't remember. It is a little tint, but not so much that it gives you like a fake look excuse me i loved it very nice i would definitely pick it up for face sunscreen i don't need any the glow recipe avocado melt sleeping mask i have two of these i loved this it was so nice for a nighttime extra rich boost of moisture the moroccan oil body souffle i don't remember my thoughts on this but i I don't think it was anything wowing. Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I was so happy to have this. I went through the full size of these back when they first came out. That was maybe five years ago. It's been a really long time and I loved them. I love the leave-in spray. I love the shampoo and conditioner. I think that's all I've used from that line. I might have used a mini of the hair oil. I don't remember. But it was really, really nice. I will pick those up again one day. Okay, now to home fragrance. I have two wallflowers. Mommy, yes? Um, you have one of these uh, Nana's. I know. that It's from Nana's. I brought it home. Well, a Walmart brand and a Bath & Body Works. This was the Strawberry Pound Cake. I have it in the girls' hallway. It smells so good so good and then i picked up because i'm a shell 1218 she was talking about this on her stories one day the better homes and gardens warm rustic woods so i picked it up she said it smelled like a burberry perfume and so i got it in the store i got the warmer and the melts or the old you know and it smelled good it seemed a little more fallish so but i was like okay i'll try it so i brought it home and i put it in our bedroom and all of a sudden, I don't know, maybe like an hour later, I was like, I asked my husband, I said, did you just wash your hands? And he was like, no, but it smells, did you? And I was like, no, I said, it smells like soap in here. And he was like, I know, I was going to ask you what that was. He was like, it smells like a bar of soap. Oh my gosh, of course my camera battery is flashing, y'all. Anyways, I had to move it to the living room and it smells nice now, but like when you, if you smell it in the store, it doesn't smell like soap at all. So I thought that was so odd. Okay. Angel Food Cupcake Candle from Bath & Body Works. I loved this. It smelled so nice and sweet and bakery. Okay. 
few wax melts. Well, quite a few. Let me rush through it. Mommy, Hold on, baby. Let me get done, okay? Better Mommy, Homes and Gardens. This was... This was in a bathroom. I know. Why did you take it out in the bathroom? <laughs> Hold on, let me finish. Strawberry pretzel bars. This smelled good. Strawberry, a little bakery. Sensationals. Unicorn cake. Ooh, so cute packaging. It was just okay. Sensationals. Cake batter ice cream. Adorable packaging label. Just okay. And then two from Sassy Girl Aroma. The Violet Sugared Petals Marshmallow and the Sweet Lavender Serendipity Pink Sugar Marshmallow. They were just okay. Her cupcakes at Tiffany's scent is amazing to die for. But these were just like, mm, used on, but that's about it. So we're going to go because we're finally done with this two months empties. Hopefully Yay. next month is not a two monther. Do you want to say bye? Why did you take this out of the bathroom? They don't understand the concept of empties. They think it's really weird that I keep my trash. I'm going to talk about empty beauty products. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Say bye bye. Say bye. Are you going to say bye? <laughs> Mommy, why yes. did you take this out of the bathroom? So I could talk about it on camera. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.